Now I'm going to show you how to create a test booking for your products. Uh, this can only be done if your products are published. So I have two products published here, so I'm able to create a test booking. Uh, this can be done two ways. So you can go to bookings and booking desk. So the booking desk will only show you your products. So you have to select the product here, uh, select a date, click on continue, and you'll have to select the amount of passengers, so two adults and one children, and you have to enter the name. Then you have to add the payment. Um, you have these options here. So if I select cart, there's no payment going through cart. I'm just telling Bokum that this booking was paid by cart. Uh, the same if I select cash, voucher from external system, the bookings will show up as paid, but you will have to charge the customer uh, through your own system. Then we have not paid and free, and I'm going to select not paid. Then you have an option of emailing ticket. So if you want to see how the ticket looks like that the customer gets, I recommend you put in your email here and click on this field. And when you click on save to create the booking, you will be emailed the, the ticket and the invoice. Um, the next way to create a booking is book tools and activities. So this will show you your products and if you have some marketplace agreements uh, to sell other suppliers products, you'll be able to select the supplier here and you'll see their product. So let's click on my activity and I'll book for the, 20, for the next day, one adult, and then I'm asked if I would like to finish this product, a booking or add to the booking. And I'm going to add another booking here for the 30th two adults and now I'm going to finish it test and test and then email and continue uh, if I had added any booking questions to the product I would be asked them here and then I get to the next step uh, I can add discount to the price and promotional codes and gift card codes. So if you want to test them, this is the perfect place to do that. And then I have to select a payment method. Uh, if I have added a payment provider to the system, I would get that option as well. And that would state pay online now. But since I do not have a payment provider, I can only say if it's not paid by selecting pay later or stating that the customer has already paid me through cash, card or voucher from an external system. So I'll select cart and click on save. So now these two bookings were created and they each got an individual booking number and they're both under a cart booking number as well. Uh, the next way you can create a booking is by going to the activity dashboard. So this will show you all uh, bookings, you all products you have a booking for today. You can also check this mark here to show unbooked. Uh, companies using Pokemon usually use this when they get a phone call that asks uh, when, where do you have available seats. They can use this to see they have uh, four booked and then 11 seats available. So I can click here and this will send me to the booking desk that I showed you already and you can finish the booking. Now you can click on your company name here and this will show you all bookings you've made. So this is the first booking we made that's not paid and this is the second booking that's paid. If I click on the cast booking number here, it will take me here and show me both bookings. So I can cancel one of the bookings and when I cancel it, it asks me if I should apply a cancellation policy or not. And then I can go into this booking and I can change the date simply by selecting the date here and continue. So now I've moved the date, uh, I can change the amount of passengers and I can rebook it into another activity by selecting it here.
Now you'll see that this booking here is confirmed and the one I cancelled is cancelled. If I open this one, I can cancel it here and it will remove it from my sales feed. Uh, to see it again, I have to click here and click on cancel and it will show up again.